What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video, but also just a little bit stressed because I have so much to show you guys. And this is actually going to be a two part haul. So this is obviously the first part and then I will be uploading the second part to this haul next week. So I kind of just broke it up as to like what we have listed versus what we don't have listed. So hopefully everything in the part two will actually be listed whenever I do upload that video, which like I said is next Monday. But as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a Century 21 retail arbitrage haul. And if you guys aren't familiar with Century 21, then you're obviously new to my channel. So hi, my name is Leah. I'm a full-time reseller with my boyfriend Spencer and we sell basically on every online platform probably possible. And Century 21 is our favorite retail arbitrage store and unfortunately they are going out of business. However, they are having a lot of closing sales so that is why I am doing this huge haul. And I also vlogged the other day when we went to Century 21 and bought some of the stuff. So if you guys missed that little source with me vlog, make sure you guys go watch that first and then go ahead and watch this video. And then like I said, next week we will have the second part of the haul. But I really hope that you guys are excited to see everything we got. We have all designer brands. I'm just so excited to share with you guys everything we got. It was so hard not keeping some of this stuff for myself. And honestly, when the discount goes up more, I may go back and try and pick some things up for myself. But when we went this trip, I was really just focused on getting items to resell. And I also have my handy dandy little peppermint mocha here from Starbucks to try and get me through this because this is going to be a long day and just a long video. So I hope that you guys are comfy and ready to watch this whole thing. And I hope you guys are excited about these finds as much as I am. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so starting out, I think this haul is going to be all shoes because so far that is all we've gotten listed. And then in part two, I will do more shoes because we seriously bought so many shoes. It's crazy. If you guys watch my vlog, you know that but we also did get some clothing which I just haven't gotten around to listing yet so that will also be in part two but I figured we'll go ahead and kickstart this vlog with a pair of Louboutins because what better way to start a luxury designer haul than with a pair of red bottoms so one of the pairs that we got and yes one of the pairs we actually bought quite a few pairs of red bottoms which is just so crazy um, but the deal was just too good to pass so the first pair that we got are these gorgeous little matte blue. I think these are so pretty. I love a good pointed toe heel. I have noticed that red bottoms do sell a lot better with a pointed toe rather than a round toe. They just do. I don't know if that's just like what's in style right now. I personally prefer a pointed toe as well. But anyways, this is the first pair that we got. I absolutely love this color. I just think it is perfect for the winter time because it is more of a muted neutral blue. And I just think it is so cute. Everybody loves red bottoms. And if you guys are interested, these are a size 37 and a half. Next up, we have a pair of Chloe sandals and these are so cute. It might take me a second to get some of the stuff out because some of them are in dust bags. Um, but these are a really cute pair of like cage sandals. They are suede and they have this really cool cutout detail on them. They are heeled and then they also wrap around the ankle with these little tassels. I think these are so cute. Obviously they'd probably be a little more comfortable in the summer because they are an open toed and your feet would freeze this winter. Um, it has been so cold lately here in New York. So that's just like what I'm thinking when I see these, but they're so cute. I love them. I think they're the perfect little spring and summer shoe. I think they look so cute with the little midi dress. And yeah, really happy we picked these up. And then we picked up these gorgeous Miu Miu boots. I am so excited to show you guys all the Miu Miu we got because we have the cutest styles ever. I'm literally obsessed and I honestly would so wear these myself. So these are the most extra boots ever. They're covered in glitter. <laughs> And these just scream the holidays to me. I think these would make an amazing Christmas gift. And I just know that any girly girl in your life would definitely want to wear these. I can picture them either with a dress or just with a pair of skinny jeans tucked in. They lace up the front here as you can see. They almost have like a black and white checkered lace. I'm going to try and show you guys up close. And then they do have a side zip just so that they're easy to put on. I think these are so cute and I feel like they even just match like my background perfectly. Just like the ultimate winter boots and they're just like the right amount of extra which is very extra. <laughs> and the next thing that I'm going to show you is a pair of Dolce & Gabbana pumps. And to be honest, these are probably one of my favorite pairs of pumps that we picked up. I think they are so amazing and if you guys watched I think it was like one of my vlogs. I think it was maybe when we went thrifty in Brooklyn. I mentioned that I was obsessed with houndstooth. So if you guys know that, then you would know why I'm obsessed with these pumps. 
But anyways, they are so gorgeous. Like I said, they're Dolce & Gabbana. And fun fact, they are actually dyed calf hair, which is like incredible. So I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but these are fur. And it's so cool. They're just this black and white houndstooth pattern. So cute. So awesome. And also just so tempting to keep. I think these are so perfect for the winter. Houndstooth is always really popular in the winter time, and it is especially popular this winter. So these are size 38 and a half. Unfortunately, not my size, or I would be convincing Spencer to let me keep them. Even though I honestly have nowhere to wear them right now, I would just want them to like have them to just keep because they're so gorgeous. But I was like screaming when I found these. I like ran up to Spencer and I was like, you have to see these, I'm dying. <laughs> the next few things I'm gonna show you guys are also the brand Dolce & Gabbana. We honestly picked up so much of that brand. They just had so many different styles and for such good prices. I feel like that was the brand that was really discounted for some reason, but I'm not gonna complain. The pair that I'm about to show you guys is so cute that actually when we were in line checking out, a woman came up to us and told us how cute they were and the lady at the register told us how gorgeous they were. So that just is like telling you guys how cute. Um, they did have the matching box, which I thought was also just like made it that much cuter and also a matching dust bag. So as you guys can see, it actually has a pattern of peas on it, which like kind of random, but also it's really cute with the pink. So anyways, they're a pair of these little slingback pumps and they are just so fun and so cute. Obviously more of a spring and summer style, but I think that it is worth the wait for them to sell. They have this gorgeous embellished little buckle here. I think it is so pretty as you can see. It's like little green Swarovski crystals. And then it does have a chunky heel back here. And then it's more of a square toe. But I just think the pattern is so fun and it's just very spring and summer-esque. I think this would look so, so pretty with a midi white dress. I can just see it. It would be so cute. And honestly, if I wasn't trying to sell them, I would definitely keep them because I just, like I said, with the white dress and a tan in the summer, these are like the cutest things ever. So like I said, we picked up a lot of Dolce and Gabbana items. And if you guys watched my vlog, you would have saw the rain boots that we picked up. So I'm just gonna go over them briefly. Um, the first pair that we got are these really cute black and white stripes. These are honestly my favorite pair of the rain boots and I believe we got them in a couple sizes and that goes for a lot of these shoes. We did pick up a couple different sizes in them, not for every single pair. Some of them, they only had one size and we picked it up, but some of them did have a couple different sizes. But anyways, we picked up these really cute striped Dolce & Gabbana rain boots. These were a great deal. I believe that they were 150 with 60% off, which is just a great deal for brand new Dolce & Gabbana rain boots. I love them. I wish they fit me because they are so cute, but also I think I already have a couple pairs of rain boots, so like I don't need them, but they are so cute. And the next pair of Dolce & Gabbana rain boots we got are these black polka dot ones. I think these are really cute as well. I don't like them as much as the striped ones, but they are super cute and obviously very girly. I think these would look great with a pair of leggings or jeans and they're obviously just really functional and I don't believe that either pair of these are actually leather I think they're just like rubber rain boots but they are really good quality and I mean they're Dolce & Gabbana come on <laughs> so before Century 21's sale got marked up and we were able to go buy all this stuff they actually had a few pairs of off-white sneakers which I wanted to buy so bad to resell but they were just a little bit too much for us to make a good profit on however I did find one pair of off-white shoes when the sale went up and they were these ones I think they are so awesome and honestly probably better than any of the sneakers they had and they weren't there when the sale was actually like lower so they had just put these out and I can tell because I'm sure they would have been gone there are these gorgeous leather black pumps and then they have their little aero logo on them I think they are so awesome and anybody that loves off-white definitely needs these I feel like these are such a collector's item and they're just like a simple pump but really stand out because of the arrow logo I think they're just so fun and awesome and if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have saw that I posted a picture in these um, I had to try them on because they are my size I don't think I would ever really keep them to wear but I do think they're super awesome and anybody that loves off-white will definitely snag these up so like I said we got a lot of great deals on Dolce & Gabbana but we also got a lot of great deals on Saint Laurent so the next thing that I'm gonna show you is Saint Laurent and these are a pair of booties and these are just a perfect little I think they call them the Chelsea boot um, they're just these gold little Western boots I think these are awesome again perfect for the winter time and the holidays with the gold it just kind of reminds me of Christmas time 
And I think these are so nice. Obviously, they're great quality and they're just like a super smooth, soft, buttery leather. And these ones are size 37, but I do believe we may have gotten them in different sizes, but I also think they may be in different colors. I think we might have picked up a pair in silver, but either way, I thought that these would be great to have to resell. I think somebody's gonna love these and would just make a perfect gift or even a gift for yourself, especially just like I said, around the holidays. Also, I apologize if I'm talking really fast and kind of going through items quickly. I'm just staring at a huge pile behind this camera and I know I need to get through it for this video and I don't want the video to be like two hours long so I'm just trying to show everything and move on but anyways the next item that we have are a pair of Celine boots which to be honest I think if we would have noticed that they were missing one of the straps we definitely wouldn't have picked them up so that was a little disappointing I think originally we were just thinking it wasn't supposed to have a strap there but after we looked it up online we realized that it definitely was supposed to have a strap um, however, I think that they can still sell for quite a bit because I don't think it looks bad with this top shot missing. So as you can see, they're these really cool pair of almost like a cowboy boot. And like I said, they're Celine, really soft, smooth, buttery leather. And they have this zipper down the front and then they have two buckles here. And originally they're supposed to have a buckle here. But as you guys can see, it's missing and it was missing on both of them. So that's why we assumed that it was just supposed to be like that. So when we found out that it was actually missing one, it was a bit of a bummer, but I don't regret it too much. I think we can still get our money back definitely and still probably make a little bit off of them, but not as much obviously if they were in perfect condition. But either way, they're an amazing Celine booty and it's a perfect time of year to have these. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 39. In this next box, we have a pair of Chloe boots. And these are one of my favorite pairs, again, that we picked up. I know I've probably said that a few times, and I'm going to continue saying it for this video and the next one because, honestly, all of the shoes are my favorite, and we got so many good styles. But after I filmed the source with me at Century 21 and, like, that vlog, we actually went back the next day and went to one that we went to, like, the first day that the sale increased. And I ended up finding these, and they definitely were not there, or we would have picked them up. I think they are incredible. So like I said, they are Chloe and they're these little sock booties. I think they are so awesome. They have like this little rubbery toe here and then also the heel is the same way. So as you can kind of see, it has like a metallic silver like sparkle to it. I think it looks so pretty. Just again, perfect for the holiday season and just winter. And then when you guys turn around to the back, it has this gorgeous logo ribbon down the back, which is just such a great added detail. I love when shoes or like anything designer has the brand on it. I feel like if you're gonna spend that kind of money, everyone should know that you're wearing something that's expensive. I mean, obviously you should wear it for yourself, but I just think it's always a nice added touch if you can display the brand that you're wearing. I think these are done in such a classy and not tacky way whatsoever. I think it is just a nice little hint. Obviously the boots are a little bit extra with the glitter and stuff, but I just think that they are so fun and so awesome. And it kind of reminds me of like the Balenciaga sock booties, but just like a little added flair. Next we have Balmain, and I am so excited to show you guys these. I think they're again so cute, like I said, with every brand. They have the dust bag. Um, these are definitely more of a spring and summer shoe, but the color is so, so gorgeous. So they're just these heeled sandals. I love that the heel is clear. I think it is so cool. And the heel also, I don't know how well it's gonna show up, but it says Balmain down it. I think it is so awesome. And it's just this gorgeous nude color. I love neutral colors. If you guys know me, then you definitely know that. I just think they're so flattering and so classy. And it just has a lot of these like elastic bands going around it. I think these are the perfect summer shoe. I would 100% wear these. I think they're so classy and chic. And they would look great with like an all black outfit. I just think that they're such a simple yet statement shoe. And I just think everybody needs a pair of these. I think I need a pair of these. Um, honestly, wait a second. What size are these? Oh, they're 37. That could be dangerous. <laughs> the next pair of shoes are actually a pair of boots and they're the brand MM6 Mason Margiela. If you guys aren't familiar with this brand, it is a great brand to buy to resell. We have sold, I think, a jean skirt and we also have a jacket for sale in our closet. It's a very popular brand, but one that I feel like I didn't really know of until this past year. Um, these next boots honestly aren't my style and I don't love them, but I know that they will probably sell well and they are pretty cute. They're just not for me. So they're these nude and purple floral booties. They have this little chunky heel here as you can see. They lace up the front. Honestly, just not my style, not my cup of tea, but I could see somebody wearing these with a really pretty dress in the springtime. 
Um, definitely more of like a spring booty just because of the floral pattern, but again, just not my style. However, I do think that they'll sell well, so we did pick them up and we also got them for a great price. Going back to something a little more my style, the next pair of booties we have are Saint Laurent. I absolutely love Saint Laurent. I feel like just it's just so my style. But anyways, this pair is so cute. I wish we would have gotten them in more sizes, but they only had one size of them. So they are these leopard print buckle booties. I think these are so cute and so in style. Leopard print has been so in the past two years and I feel like it's gonna be here to stay at least for a little while. Um, they do have somewhat of a pointed toe. They have a nice little block heel here, a zipper down the side. And then this buckle does actually wrap all the way around the ankle. So it'll definitely like keep your foot in place and make sure that they're like comfortable to walk in, which I really appreciate. And these are a size 36, a little bit too small for me, or I would consider, you know, talking to Spencer and seeing if I could keep them. But anyways, I just think they're so cute. And I just think that they're a perfect style to have for sale right now. And I also love the little detail of having Saint Laurent here on the buckle. I just think these are so cute. And they just remind me of something I would see like a college student wearing. I feel like I always see college students or even like, you know, like seniors in high school always wearing leopard print booties. And that these are just like a designer version of those. So I think these are so cute and I have a feeling these are gonna sell very quickly. The next pair of shoes we have are another pair of Balmain. Um, these ones are really interesting. I think they're pretty cool. They're very simple and probably more again of like a spring or summer shoe. So there are these PVC little clear pumps, um, almost like a little ankle booty, I guess, the way that they come up. Again, has a clear heel with the Balmain down the back. I think it's such a cool detail. And then they do zip up the back, so they are nice to put on. Um, I think these are really fun again. You could definitely wear them in the winter. I don't see why not. I also think it honestly might be cool if you wore like socks with them. I don't know, just a thought. I feel like that's a little Scream Queens like thing. I don't know, I used to love the show Scream Queens. If you guys watched it, let me know down below. But I honestly don't think we got the best deal on them. It's probably something we could have passed on, but we were buying so much that we kind of just tried to go like off the top of our heads, whether we could get three times the amount of profit on them or not. But either way, I think they are a good shoe and they will definitely sell. Going back to Dolce & Gabbana for a little bit, we picked up a really cute pair of these suede booties. I feel like these are just the ultimate fall booties or winter booties, whatever you want to call them. They're just this really pretty like tannish brown suede and then they have this black elastic up the sides. They're pretty basic and simple, which is great because they will match so many different outfits and I feel like I've seen these shoes on so many different bloggers. Um, just a perfect pair of shoes that I feel like everybody needs. They have a round toe and they're just simple, but also just like a classic pair of booties. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 39. This next pair of Dolce & Gabbana shoes is a little yeehaw moment. Um, so as you can probably guess, they are a pair of little cowboy boots. I think these are so cute. Um, as you guys know, I'm from Ohio, so I'm from a very like farmy town and these are what we call shit kickers in Ohio but I don't think you'll be kicking any shit with these because they're just obviously a little expensive and also extra. I don't know how well you can see on camera, but they are leopard print and they also have glitter throughout them. So this is like me if I were to turn out country. Um, I did have a pair of cowboy boots when I was younger, fun fact, but I think I only wore them like twice. There was probably not even a drop of mud on them. But anyways, I think these are so cute and so fun. I also feel like cowboy boots have really come into style, even with like more of a preppy style, which I think is really cool and really interesting. So I think these are really fun. Again, a perfect style to have for the fall and winter and even into spring. This next pair of Dolce & Gabbana shoes that we got is probably the most simple and just like basic pair of shoes. Um, they are a pair of suede heels, but they are a really pretty color. So they're this like royal blue. I think this is another gorgeous color for the winter time. I just think it would look really pretty with a dress or even just a pair of skinny jeans and a sweater. Um, they are open toe though, so your toes make it a little bit cold if it is chilly out. And then they do have this little ankle strap here with a buckle. Um, like I said, very simple, pretty basic, and probably the most basic pair that we got. Um, what is kind of cool about them though is they do have like a leopard print insole here and also a leopard print outsole. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 40 and a half. Moving on to a pair of Saint Laurent, I'm pretty sure that these are a pair of booties. Yep, so these are another pair of Chelsea booties. These are the ones I think I said earlier that we got a pair in silver. 
These ones are a little bit different because they don't have the black elastic here. They're just all silver. They're really cute. And again, perfect for the holidays. I feel like gold, silver, any of the metallic colors really just look great in the winter time. I feel like it just adds a little bit of like glistening and sparkle that we all love during the holiday season. I know even me personally, I love like Christmas lights and stuff like that. But totally off topic, I think these are cute boots. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, you guys get the gist by now. They're just a pair of like simple little Chelsea boots. And I also feel like these boots are really popular right now. So I'm hoping that these will sell quickly and hopefully before Christmas. Next, we have a pair of Mew Mew boots. And I feel like I didn't realize until when we went to Century 21 and bought all of this stuff, just how much I really love Mew Mew. I feel like they just have the cutest styles and they're so feminine, a little bit girly and maybe a little bit more like younger, but I just think they're so cute. And I feel like if I would have come across this stuff when I was in high school, I would have just been in love. So I think these boots are so fun and so cute and I honestly would totally wear these. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with like knee high suede boots. It was just like my thing. Um, I think it was just because I was like obsessed with Ariana Grande. But anyways, these are a pair of knee high boots. They are suede. It feels like the nicest suede ever. It's so soft and buttery and just so smooth. I love them. And then for the holidays, they have this perfect gold glitter heel, which is just so gorgeous and such a great detail. And then it also has it here on the toes. And the way the toe looks when you're standing from above, to me, it just looks like a reindeer's foot for some reason. I don't know. Do you guys get that vibe or am I just like being crazy? I don't know. I think these are so cute and we did get these in red, but I don't think I listed them yet. So they'll probably be in the next haul, but those are again, just perfect for the holidays. And as soon as I saw these and the red ones, I just like had to pick them up because I know that somebody would love to have these for Christmas time. They're just the most perfect holiday shoe. And I think these would look so cute on your way to church, just being like totally extra on your way to like your Christmas Eve service, you know, like, I don't know. The next pair of shoes are the brand Chloe and they are so cute. I saw these like months ago at Century 21. So I was really surprised that they still had them um, when their markdown went out because I figured that they would have sold them out already. Um, so they're a pair of these little, they're almost like a ballerina flat, but they do have these cute little, it's like three straps going down the front with these o-ring buckles. I think they're so cute and it's kind of hard for me to tell what color these are. They almost look a little pinky to me, but I do think they're more of just like a cream color and the hardware is gold. I just think these are so cute. And again, just a perfect shoe for the winter time. I feel like we were so lucky that they still had so many great winter shoes left. And I don't know why, but these shoes just remind me of something that Clara from the Nutcracker would wear. And I don't know if it's because they're kind of like a ballet shoe or what it is. I just think they're so feminine and girly, but just so like, I don't know. They just have that extra touch with the O-ring buckle and they're just such a classy pair of shoes. And I just think that these would look so pretty no matter how you wear them, even if it's just with a pair of simple skinny jeans and maybe a basic top, I feel like the shoes will do all the talking or you could wear them with a really gorgeous dress. I just think that these are so pretty and I really hope that whoever buys them loves them as much as I do. The next pair of shoes we bought are Jimmy Choo's and I think this may be the only pair of Jimmy Choo's that we picked up. I don't know if everybody like rushed and bought those whenever Century 21 was like, go, had their going out of business sales or like what happened because usually there's a lot of Jimmy Choo's at Century 21 and this was the only pair we came across. And I'm pretty sure that they were calling these a bridal pump, which I can understand why. They're so gorgeous. They're covered in silver glitter and they have this really cool caged cutout detail as you guys can see here, an ankle strap. And I just think that these are so gorgeous, but honestly, you don't need to be getting married or having a wedding to wear these. I think you can just wear them in the winter. I feel like the silver glitter, again, it's just such a perfect touch for the winter time. I am such a shoe girl, so I'm just literally drooling over all of these shoes. And if I had somewhere to wear these, I would consider keeping them, but I really just need to move inventory. That is the hardest part about my job is trying not to keep everything that we buy. But if you guys are interested in these, they are a size 37. Moving forward, the next pair of shoes that I'm gonna show are the brand Balenciaga. And this is a brand that we don't come across too often, so it was really fun to be able to pick some up at Century 21. So these are a pair of sandals, honestly not our best buy. I think they were a little bit higher priced compared to like what we're gonna be able to get out of them but we'll still get our money back and profit a little bit. However, just not what we typically like to make. Um, they do have an open toe with one strap here and then they have this really cool elastic band that goes all the way around. And when I was looking up stock photos online, I found a really similar pair, but it had an extra strap up here. So I couldn't find like the stock image for this exact pair, but I did find a really similar pair. 
Um, but they're just a really cool, simple pair of shoes. I say simple, but obviously this band makes it a little bit extra. And it's not really a heel, I guess. It is more of a wedge. It's kind of hard to show you because of this band. I do think that they're a great color combination and would match a lot of stuff. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 37. This next pair of shoes is the brand Chloe once again. And I am obsessed with these shoes. I think that they are so perfect for the winter time and just the holiday season. And if I had somewhere to go, I think I've said this like seriously so many times, but I would so keep them because they're so cute. And they're also not my size now that I'm looking at them. But they are a blue velvet platform heel and they're just so amazing. Oh my God, I think these are so perfect for the holidays. Velvet is always in in the winter, especially this winter. And it's this really pretty like blue color. I think it looks so good with the gold hardware. It has this little buckle here at the front. It does have open toes. So you may get a little chilly if you're wearing this with like a dress or whatever. And obviously don't wear them in the snow because you'll fall. Um, they do have a platform and then they also have this little ankle strap that wraps around. I'm like failing to show you guys, but I think this is just so cute. I just think it is so perfect for the holidays with a really pretty dress. And I just love them so much and I was so excited when I found these. I knew that I had to pick them up because somebody is going to love them. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 38. Another pair of Chloe shoes that we picked up are a pair of really, really cute booties. And we got a great deal on these. I think we got them for only like $109, which is just such a steal for a pair of Chloe boots. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for my Nikes this summer, so it's just insane. Um, they're these really pretty scalloped leather booties. I love that they have the wooden block heel here, and then also just the scallop detail is so cute. I feel like it really adds a feminine touch. And these boots just scream boho to me. I could see somebody wearing a really pretty like free people dress with them. Just like some like longer midi dress. I think these would be so cute. I feel like these are also just such a fall booty. I know it's like mid-November now and we're kind of moving into winter fashion. But I do think that these are just like the ultimate fall booty. So even if it takes a year to sell, I know somebody is going to really love these. I mean, I don't know who wouldn't. I think that they are just so, so cute. Okay, so moving on, we only have five pairs of shoes left, which is absolutely crazy. I feel like I've gone through this pretty fast, so I'm pretty proud of myself. And I'm also proud that I've gotten all this listed already. Now that I'm like going through it, I'm realizing how much it is. And like, I'm just happy that I already have it listed, even though you guys will see in part two how much I really had left to list. But anyways, the next pair of shoes are actually men's and I obviously didn't list these. My boyfriend Spencer listed them. He is in charge of all of the men's and I do know that he got these in a few different sizes. Um, I'm not really sure like which sizes, but I will tell you guys what size these are. So they are the brand Tom Ford and they are a pair of really, really nice loafers. And if you guys saw my last what sold video, he actually sold a Tom Ford suit for $800. So when we found these loafers at a great deal, we definitely picked them up in a few different sizes because men really love Tom Ford, my boyfriend included. But these are just a basic, I feel like everyday pair of loafers. I feel like he would look really good in these. So maybe I can convince him to keep a pair, but he's not like me. He's better at like selling stuff instead of keeping it. These ones are a size nine and a half. I'm not really sure how Tom Ford sizing works. So don't ask me, maybe he would know if you guys have any questions on them. But I do think that they're really nice and these would also make a great gift for either like your boyfriend or husband or whoever the man is in your life. Going back to the women's shoes because it's more fun anyways, right? But anyways, these are a pair of Miu Miu boots. And if you guys watched my Source With Me vlog, you probably saw these. Um, they're a pair of gorgeous leather. They're almost like, I think they call them like crackled leather. I'll show it up close so you guys can really see. They're almost like textured, but like not really, just kind of like the look of them is. They're these heeled knee-high booties. I love that they have this O-ring detail. I couldn't find a stock image for these. I think I did find them, but they weren't in this color. So this is more of a brown color and it does have gold hardware. I think these are so cute. Very classy and they're kind of simple, like they're not going to totally stand out, but they're also just great quality and they are definitely like a statement piece, but just like a subtle statement piece. They're just like a pair of really nice boots, but nothing too extra with like glitter or anything. Um, I think that these are just so nice. We did get these in two different sizes. I don't remember what the other size is, 
but these ones are a size 40. This next pair of boots we did also pick up in two different sizes. I don't remember what the other size is, but obviously I'll tell you guys what these are. And I feel like I'm moving on to the big boxes now. I've got three more shoes left and they're all in pretty big boxes. So this is the brand Giuseppe Zanotti. I hope I said that correctly. And I thought these were so cool. We almost didn't get them because they were a little bit higher priced and I feel like it is a risk. I feel like this brand doesn't really hold its value as much as some of the other brands. But these are so incredible and I feel like they're just so perfect for this time of year. So these are a heeled knee-high snakeskin boot. And I just think that these are so awesome. I can see any blogger wearing them or even just like any everyday person. I think these are so fun and just such great quality boots. I think they're just an awesome style and it would just look so great with like an all black outfit. I feel like you just need to really let the shoes do the talking whenever you wear them because they really just stand out and when you feel them, they just feel so cool. And I just love these. I, as soon as I saw them, I like fell in love and these are definitely something that I would wear. Um, however, like I said, they were a lot, so I don't think I would keep them for myself. I don't love them that much. I'm more of a little bit like on the girly side, but I do think that they're really awesome. And if you guys are interested, these are a size 37 and a half. Like I said, we do have them in another size, but I don't remember exactly what that size is. Now we're going to move on to this big boy. So this is a huge Saint Laurent box. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off so I can show you guys. So the next box is so big, I don't even think I can pick it up. Um, if you guys watched my Source With Me blog, again, you would have seen these, and they're just incredible, honestly, like, remember how I said I was obsessed with, like, over-the-knee boots with my whole, like, Ariana Grande moment? These are, like, the Ariana Grande boot. Um, they are a patent-heeled over-the-knee boot. They're just, I mean, they're everything you could ever ask for. They're just so simple because they're black, but they're actually not simple at all because they just scream extra with the patent leather. I think they're so gorgeous. And these, again, I, I already took the sticker off, but I think these were like $1,600 or $1,700 new originally, which is just insane. They're so nice, such great quality, and we did pick these up in two different sizes. I don't remember the size, but I have a feeling that these are going to sell pretty quickly, I hope. I don't know. I'm not sure how many people are on the hunt for like extra boots like this because, I mean, a lot of us are going back into quarantine, unfortunately, with everything going on with COVID. But I think that these are just so fun to have for sale and I know somebody is going to come across these on Poshmark and just scream like I did and love them. So like I said, the next box is way too big for me to like try and hold just to show for a video. But if you guys watched my source with me, then you saw Spencer trying to carry it. It's literally like as big as him and it's so, so heavy. But it was a Celine box. And also, if you guys watch my vlog, I literally recorded the moment that we bought these because I believe that these were originally like $1,700 or $1,800. It was something insane. And she told us that they were like $200 and we were like, okay, yeah, we want those. Um, they are these awesome, over the knee, once again, leather boots. These ones have a wedge and they do have this like more like brown platform here. It's not like much of a platform, but it is a little bit of a platform. And they are round toe. They're not anything like too out there. I mean, obviously just by being over the knee, it makes them a little more out there, but they are pretty like simple and just like plain black. And they're so nice and just overall such great quality. The leather on these is just insane. And I love Celine. I feel like it's one of my like all time favorite brands. Honestly, my favorite bag that we've ever owned was a Celine bag and we already sold it. And I was so happy when we sold it because it was a really big profit for us. But at the same time, I love that bag so much. I was like sad to see it go. And I feel like I'm going to be that way with these boots. I feel like the style isn't exactly something that I would reach for because I'm not huge on wedges. I prefer like a heel or, or something more flat and comfortable. But just the fact that they're like Celine, we got such a great deal on them. And just having the box is like so fun for some reason. Um, they're just so nice. And if you guys are interested, they are a size 10. So they're a little bit of a bigger size. Hopefully they'll sell quickly. I'm not really sure what shoe size is going to sell best. I feel like for us, it's just all over the place. I wouldn't say it's like smaller or bigger. I feel like it's just totally random as to like what sizes sell best for us. But I was so excited to pick these up. These were one of our favorite buys just because honestly the box is so fun and just to have a pair of really expensive, great quality Celine boots for this winter time is so exciting for us and we were just so, so happy. So that is all for my part one of my Century 21 retail arbitrage haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps my channel out and also suggest this video to other viewers. And also please make sure you subscribe down 
down below by clicking that red subscribe button as well as the bell next to it. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload part two of this video, which will be next Monday. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the next one just as much. And like I said, if you guys haven't watched my Source With Me at Century 21 vlog, make sure you watch that as well. But thank you guys so much for supporting me and following me along my journey. I really appreciate it and I love chatting with you guys in the comments and also on Instagram. But thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her